debuted in five number one albums and has scored massive hits as a solo artist selling millions of records worldwide. He also used to be my flatmate. Really? <laughs> uh, welcome to something for the weekend, Vernon Keaton. You lived together. Oh. There was a gang of us, yeah. We what happened? It wasn't Shane, just us Shannon, myself, Lou. Um, yeah, that's, what's that, 20 years ago? It was. Like that. Uh, what happened was we were all on the road for sort of uh, mm. smash hits and things like that, and we all needed a base. We all said, well, let's all chip in and yeah. share a base. But we was never we really never there, there, I've got and to say. Is funny. it true that Ant and Det lived in the same block yeah, as well? Yeah, the lads were across the corridor from us. What was, where was Showbiz Towers, exactly? Uh, we <laughs> Chelsea Harbour. Chelsea, yeah, Chelsea Harbour. Yeah, but well, nice. we got a plush flat and we all just split the rent, so it was fine. It was yeah. cheaper. <laughs> it was funny, actually, one time. <laughs> we used to have all the boys on outfits in the wardrobes after a tour. And uh, <laughs> Jamie, Jamie and the boys came into the flat one time and dressed up in the boys' own outfit. After an England oh. game. Yeah, after, after an England, England game, game, and they were all dancing around the Robbie flat. Robbie Fowler yeah. in boys' own outfits. Brilliant, brilliant. Do we, do we never have, live that one down. Do we have pictures of this? I'm sure you have, have you? No, I should have got the evidence, should, yeah, shouldn't I? Was it, was, it a, yeah. was it a drunken flat or? Yeah. Any time we were there, there was definitely yeah. Uh, when you wasn't yeah. there, or when you was there? When we were there, was for <laughs> both. You wasn't, oh, yeah. No, when you wasn't there, there was. I, I hear there was a little hole carved in the bathroom door. What was it like having Louise stare at you nudie doody every day? <laughs> what was it like? Honestly, honestly I, I don't think we were ever in the apartment at the same time. No, yeah. we never. Honest to God. Right. It, was, it, was, it was shocking. We were yeah, never we, we were always working. Well, you've both come a long way since then. We have. Those heady days. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, your, uh, your, your new album is amazing. But back and yeah. right, how did that happen? Uh, Bert called me just before Christmas. Uh, he wanted to do this project, wasn't sure who he was going to work with. Spoke to Universal and uh, they came up with this idea and Bert called me and asked me what I'd do it. So it kind of fell into place. Yeah, explain what, what the album's about. Um, it's basically Bert's songs, which even if you don't know Bert Bacharach, you know these songs. I mean, yeah. uh, What the World Needs Now, uh, Walk On By, Look A Love. They're on the radio Huge. still today, you know, great songs. So we got a 40-piece orchestra and we recorded the album live in Los Angeles uh, at the start of the year. Was it quite nerve-wracking? Because obviously going into work with somebody that has worked with the likes of Dion Warwick, Frank yeah. Sinatra, all those people, I mean, I would have been... Uh, I mean, it, the first day was very intimidating. Yeah. It really was. I mean, he, he, <laughs> he put me... It was on my toes, honest to God. I mean, I, I didn't think I was going to be able to make the record after day one. But that must I'm be good, because you're, you're so accomplished in the studio. You've made lots of albums. To go in there and have to almost dig a bit deeper and find yeah, something Yeah, definitely. Different. I mean, Bert's behind the control desk, you know. 40-piece um, live orchestra. We have an hour and a half to record each song. That's it. You know, it's pressure was full on. One vocal, top to end. That's it. Honestly, yeah. three takes on each song. Done. Move on to the next one. That's really? it. That's it. That's all we got. And what, what if you weren't happy with your vocal? <laughs> Live with it. <laughs> that's it. Get it right. That's it. Get it right. Honest to yeah. God, it was that tough. And, and but look, that's the way it should be done. Really. Do you, I mean, can I ask you both? You know, as singers, did you take? Do you do you have vocal coaches? And do you uh, do you carry on training and training? No, I've never had a vocal coach ever. <laughs> People are at home going, "Well, you need one." No, but, <laughs> no I've never had a vocal coach. But um, I think just singing all the time really helps. That's really what you yeah. know how I've benefited as a singer. If you listen to my early albums and then. Now it's worse now. No, it's, uh, it's, I, well, I like to think it's gotten better. Yeah. And it's just from singing and learning yeah. about, you know, listening to your voice. And, and being how. confident, knowing what you're capable, knowing yeah. how to get to certain notes That's easily. That's it, and you never you. go to the places you, you can't go to. Let's, you know? yeah. let's have a look at you singing one of Bert's songs. <laughs> you must That's be really silly. proud, Ronan, though, because, I mean, he is one of the all-time greats. I mean, he's had like 40 hits. Yeah. In he's been US. writing songs for 50 years, and he's the greatest songwriter of all time. And, you know, the list of people he's worked with, and the stories, I mean, even the stories he shared with me in the studio about Dean Martin and all these people he'd written. Oh, Dean's songs. the best, isn't he? Unbelievable. <laughs> what, Frank or Dean? Which way? Obviously, I'm Dean. Oh. I'm, I'm more Frank. Yeah. No! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, Dean had it. Oh, charisma, the lot. Yeah. No? No, <laughs> oh, oh, I can't be a bit blue eyes. No, you <laughs> Frank. Yeah. Frank or Dean? Frank. They should do a show one day, Frank v. Dean. Yeah. Um, got, uh, Yvonne Harris says, um, were there any of Bert's songs that he didn't want you to cover or any that you attempted and he didn't like? He didn't want to go near close to you. He, did, he just he said, it's been done too much, right. we need to yeah. stay away from it. And I was happy to stay away from it because, like, you know, like Bert says, it's been, it's been overdone. And some of the songs on the album are, you know, like, uh, I guess, Look A Love, Walk On By, they have been done a lot and they're still being played on the radio today. So it's, you have to be careful how you approach them and re-record them. Will you, will you be singing them out, touring them at all? I hope so. I'd like to think so. Bert's 
coming back on the end of the year to do a tour and we've talked about doing some dates together so maybe a, a couple of Albert Hall shows with an orchestra yeah. or something to be really special. I suppose you could tour it on your own if needs be. And yeah I could and then yeah yeah but with an orchestra would be amazing. I've yeah. never toured with an right. orchestra. Um, it's stunning. Great. You've also been doing X Factor recently haven't you but down in Australia. Yes. Um, yeah. Are you doing going back for another? I am. Series? I'm going back. I'm back to Australia next week. Um, I'm doing uh, I'm making a film first down there for six weeks and then straight into X Factor. Oh, who are the other two? I know Natalie. But Natalie on the left. That's Guy Sebastian on the far left. He's um, he, he won the first Australian Idol. Right. And Kyle Sandilands on the right. He's he's the biggest DJ down there. He's a, okay. You know. Is there, is there as much talent? They've only got well, they got 22 million 22 now. Something. We got yeah. 60 odd million, yeah. 61 million or something. Well, no, after the census. Yeah. yeah have you done your census? Have well, you done? Not it? here. I'm not, I don't live here. <laughs> I don't need to do one here. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Doing an Irish one. Silly me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so. Um, uh, was there much talent down in Australia? Yeah, we did well. We did really well. My contestant actually won, so I was very happy. Say, yeah, I mean, but I, I know you well enough to know you would have put a lot of time and effort into choosing those songs. I did. In particular. I did. And Natalie was actually asking me for sound choices for her acts, oh. which I was deadly. It was did great. you help her? I did help did her. I give did. her a bad choice. I did. She's going to kill me now. I'm going to go text after the show. <laughs> yeah. This telling me. You know, um, no, but I mean, I really enjoyed working on the show. The guys were great, all the, all the judges. Um, but I did, I gave it my all. Yeah. You know, I was there morning, noon and night, picking the songs, dance routines, you know, with the choreographer, well, if, everything. If they have on. a bad song, if a contestant's song isn't right, they can get chucked out of the competition, You see it here on the show there as well. Yeah. You know, bad song choice, they get voted so out. you've got a lot riding on it, yeah. really, yeah, if, yeah, you, if you muck up. Yeah, I mean, it falls back on us yeah. as mentors. Australia seems quite an exciting place for you, because you're also about to star in a film down there. Yeah. Is that right? You're yeah, yeah, I start shooting in about two weeks' time. Um, it's a feature film called Goddess.com. Laura Michelle Kelly plays the lead. She's just finished on Broadway doing uh, Mary Poppins. So I'm excited. I'm quite nervous about it. First film. I, I mean, mm. I don't know how it's going to go. Are you doing it in an Australian accent? No, Irish, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank God, no pressure. Is your part, big part in the film? Yeah, about 75% of the movie. Okay, yeah, so, so quite that's a big jump, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, um, it is. But, uh, Bur Bur to, movies, <laughs> to a movie yeah. star. Yeah, would, cool. you, would you consider moving down to Australia? And if my out? family would, I would for a while, definitely. Oh, yeah. If one of the kids would, I would. But, uh, you know, the kids are in school in Dublin and settle, so. It's, it's an amazing place, Australia, though, isn't it? it I is. love the fact you can be in a shopping town and then on the beach five oh, minutes later. It's it's... And the people are amazing. Yeah. You know, very warm. Seems like yeah. a bit of a simpler way of life. Yeah. OK, Ronan be staying with us uh, and cooking lemon and poppy seed cheesecake oh, today. That's what you're doing. <laughs> That's so uh, get your questions of <laughs> him on swimming or uh, anything else. We'll talk to you about swimming um, in a minute when we do the, when oh. we do the cooking. He's going he's gonna to swim <coughs> the Irish Sea or something, is that I right? I am. Okay. For my sins. And we'll do, uh, we'll do our best to get any questions you want to ask him answered for you. you